Yo, what is going on guys? It is time for another puzzle video. And today I'm gonna to be doing another puzzle from Cobble Hill. Uh, this was actually sent to me, I think back in like 2020. Uh, shout out to Linda if you're still over at Cobble Hill and thank you for sending this to me. Uh, she sent me this along with another one called Cabins. You can go check that one out right there if you wanna go watch it. Um, that one was printed on, I believe it was linen paper and this one is supposed to be on litho paper i think that's correct litho paper um and to be quite honest with you i don't know exactly what litho paper is so i guess i'm going to find that out once i uh, cut open the box and um, start looking at the puzzle pieces this puzzle is only a 500 piece puzzle um the last one i did was a thousand piece and so i'm going to try to alternate the thousand piece puzzles take a little longer um, so this one being 500 pieces i'll probably hopefully get this one knocked out in like an hour or so. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get this box open and get into the puzzle. like the cover of the box here, Archie. Let's see, there we go. Um, Archie was a comic book, I believe, or a comic strip in the paper, I can't remember which. Actually, just looking at the back here, I think it was a comic book. And this is the covers of some of the Archie comic books. And if I'm not mistaken, again, I'm guessing here, but I think these, uh, these date back to like the 50s or the 60s. Um, the, the Archie comic books um, a little bit before my time obviously but I still remember it I still I, but that's why I feel like it was also possibly something in the newspaper but I, I could be wrong you guys tell me in the comments I can't really remember all right let's see what we got here got a nice little print so the box is perfect there's nothing wrong with this but I guess having the print is also always nice to have um, so we'll probably keep both of those handy and nearby. Put the box over here for now. And let's put the paper over here. So, looks like there's going to be a little bit of puzzle dust on this one, but nothing too crazy. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look. And it looks like, of course, since it is 500 pieces instead of 1,000, um, the puzzle pieces are much bigger because the puzzle size is still about the same size puzzle. Yeah, these pieces are a lot bigger. Uh, I think even than the, uh, the one I did with the uh, mud puppy puzzle that was 500 pieces. Let's go ahead and break those apart. Um, but they're nice quality, super nice. And litho paper. Um, and it's got like a slight gloss to it, not like a real high gloss, just like a smooth finish to it. Uh, it might have a little bit of a glare, but since it's only 500 piece puzzle, I don't think it's going to pose any issues with getting this one done. So let's uh, just go ahead and get into separating it. Let me move these to the side. Yeah, there is, there is a bit of puzzle dust. It's not, it's not real bad, but let me go ahead and get some of this cleaned up before I start separating. I'm sure I'll have to do it again afterward, but at least get some of it out of here. All right, let's get started. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her. Alright, 
just a few more pieces to go. Just as I suspected, this one was, uh, was pretty easy. I was able to get it done in probably like an hour and a half, I think, somewhere around there. Um, the quality of the uh, puzzle is really nice. It is slightly glossy, so the uh, lights, they had a minor effect on that for me, but not too much because the pieces are so big, there's a lot of image on each individual piece. Uh, there we go. Let's get that top down shot real quick. All right, that's about as best as I can get it. Let's see. There we go. All right, so something I realized after I started uh, assembling the puzzle was that the poster that they provided is helpful beyond just the box top and that uh, is because if you look right there, it's got the uh, emblem showing the name of the puzzle and how many pieces there are, but on the poster, that's not blocked. So um, I discovered that pretty rapidly. And then also the way that the uh, image kind of wraps around the bottom here, it's not a big wrap right there, but it was just enough that when I was trying to kind of like look at what was on the bottom of the puzzle when I was putting together the edge, um, the poster was a little bit easier to use for that so i'm glad i had that uh thanks again to linda over at cobble hill for sending this out i know it's uh he sent this to me in 2020 I, I can't remember when it was late 2020 i believe uh and here i am assembling it in 2022 uh but there was a lot of puzzles i received in between there um but yeah i really liked it thanks again and if you guys are interested in getting a cobble hill puzzle uh there'll be a link below um, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them directly from their website, and they're also available on, I, when I was looking, I found them on all sorts of sites, so they're, they're pretty easy to find um, if you're looking to pick up a Cobble Hill puzzle. If you are new to my channel, uh, please, give a, please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and click that little bell, so you'll get notified every single time I upload a new video. See you guys in the next one. Later! Mm -hmm.